Hello, it's Diane, and I'm going to show you a couple more um, Traveler's Notebook inserts that I made out of magazines. They both came from an Artful Blogging magazine, and this one had, an, had a very cute illustration on the back cover, so I was able to use the front and the back. And so there are always lots of images in the magazines, and when you're only making one um, journal, you have a lot left over. And I still have a lot left over, so I'll be sending them some of them along with these two journals. So I'll show you this one first. This is a pink one. I mean, it's got a pink um, fabric polka dot strip of fabric that I um, tore and then wrapped around it to tie it. And this is the front of the magazine. And I've been making so many journals, I'm trying to remember who this one is for. It's for Jill. My friend Jill in California, who has been so kind to me, um, she was one of uh, uh, another one of the early ones who commented on my videos and just became very sweet and kind and friendly with me. And we've sent each other things. She's been very generous in sending me goodies um, several times and. And we just chat and have a good time, and, and I just love her and appreciate her, so I wanted to send this to her. So this is the front of the magazine, and I took these words. One good thing about artful blogging, besides all the wonderful images, is that they have a very inspirational kind of headline or titles on their articles. And so I use them in some of the journals that I make. So... I put a heart overflowing on the front of this and the back of it had the writing over here so I covered it with this um, antique mirror it's a girl holding a mirror and then this little image here so inside there's a pocket I covered it with vintage ledger paper here and there's a pocket with one of the Tim Holtz dolls and another little image from the magazine and all of the tags that I included are images from the magazine that I stitched plain white paper. So I won't I won't flip them all over for you, but they all are stitched to white paper so they can be journaled on. And then in a previous journal I had um, shown you the P.S. I love you mom quotes. So this journal also has some of those. So here's one of the beautiful images from the magazine. There's a just a little curved pocket here on the corner and I cut, it's got um, teapots on it, so I cut this little teacup teacup illustration from the magazine and glued it on. There's a tab here. A little birdhouse image I stitched on as a pocket and a couple of lovely images. Now, I just want to point out that these both came from the same magazine, but they are totally different styles. This one has more of a vintage look, and this one is more whimsical. You'll see as we go through it. Because different types of bloggers are featured in the magazine, and everybody has their own style. So you can get lots of different um, styles from one magazine. Here's a piece of graph paper with some stamping on it. And the other, the other side of the graph paper is lined. Here's an image, well, two images from the magazine. I stitched them together and they became a pocket. And here's another one. There's a stamp here. I didn't do anything to this page because I just liked it, but um, Jill can glue something here or um, just tape a piece of paper for journaling on it, whatever she'd like. So that page I just left. Here's some green ledger. It's just a little piece stitched on here, and here's a uh, page from the If book that I also showed in a recent video. So it just has some prompts, journaling prompts, questions that you can answer. There's some art journaling that somebody blogged about. This one has a little fabric collage with a little piece of rickrack at the top. I glued this journaling page on. It has the days of the week on it. Here's a pocket that I made with the Cricut and it has two cards tucked inside. A white one and a pink one. 
there's some white ledger and this is a piece of this is from a tablet that I bought at Staples years ago I think it was a dollar for the tablet but I liked it because it had the shoes and the purse on it and there's some ballerinas here and a note paper and another of the little Tim Holtz dolls and here's another tablet that I got at Staples at the same time with that lovely design on it I've had them in my stash for a long time <clears throat> and I've used some, but it's been a while, so I figured I'd better get them out and start using them again. This is just from an uh, old blank journal with some illustrations in it. This one I also left blank. There's a little spot for journaling here and here, and another little birdhouse image glued on as a decoration. I love these stacked pigs. Unfortunately, I had to cut their snouts off so they'd fit on here, but aren't they just so cute? And then this is tucked inside for journaling. There's um, this art journaling stitched on and a journaling card. I glued this sticky note on here. And there's, oops. I love this picture here. And there's just a couple little spots for journaling. And then this um, piece of fabric has a gathered piece of fabric along the edge and I let it hang off so it, it's a tab at the top. Here's a little glassine bag. I glued this image on and then this is a journaling card. And then paper clipped here is, I love this collage that someone did. And then here's another PS Mom thing. I've never seen a smiling face that was not beautiful. There's a stamp. Journaling spot here. And then here is a little file folder, and there's another one of those little stuffed pigs. This is a file folder that you can open up and journal on. I put the paper clip on to just hold it shut. And it's a little pocket, so I tucked in a couple of those long skinny tags that I make. And then on the back, I decorated it with a couple of images from the magazine. Uh, art journaling page and a watercolor and then tucked in this inventory tag. So there's that one and then we have this one with the green polka dot fabric tie and this one is eyes opened wide and on the cover this is the image that was on the bottom of the page you can see I left the, the back as it was and then this little child is holding this red balloon and then I think there was writing here and I covered them with more images from the same artist so it looks really cute so again we have a pocket on the inside I stitched this image over the writing that was here and I like this illustration again more art from that same artist and there's a little ledger cardstock um, pocket here with a little image stitched on and then this journaling card and a tab here. I like this one. It says love your hat. <laughs> there's some stamping here. This one is a couple of dress images and then another one made out of flowers and flower petals and leaves. It's a journaling spot. You are here. It says it's a stamp up there. I didn't tell you who this journal was for. This is for one of my customers who has purchased I think about seven journals from me so I'm sending this along with the two that I'm working on for her right now. I will include this with those journals. There's a little piece of lace stitched on there as a thank you for her support of my shop. 
fabric collage and some rickrack. Another one of the library pockets with the cards, or not library pockets, but it's a pocket made with the Cricut. There's two cards in there. This one has a little um, post-it note glued down. See the picture of the moon there? So pretty. I like that image. Oh, I also, I bought some jute, a package of jute cord at Walmart, and it had pretty muted colors. So I did this one in like a, a dusty rose. I don't know if you can tell. Let me see if you can tell in the middle better. And then this one is a green. I like the colors, but I think the jute is just a little bit too thick. It made the holes big in the paper. and and the knot is pretty thick when you make a knot in it. So I guess I'll have to find another use for the jute. There's some more moon pictures. So uh, this journaling page, just this journal page was appropriate with the moon and the little mouse riding through the night sky. There's a pocket there. Nice image with a little boy holding the moon. I love this. Looks like a, it's either a fabric tag or a stitched card tag, and it's got pretty ribbons wrapped around it, just decorated so pretty. That would be a nice way to um, send a gift of ribbons or fibers to somebody. And here's one of the P.S. I Love You. <clears throat> the only thing that ever sat its way to success was a hen. Some more post-it notes here. Another of the fabric pieces with the ruching and the tab hanging off the top. Glassine bag. This one has that image with a door, which is lovely. And then this is, I think it's Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Some more stamping here. Graph paper. This image is just beautiful. And I covered up the writing with the journaling spot. And then here we have another file folder that can be written on and a couple of tabs behind it. And the back has a pocket with a watercolor pan and a inventory tag. So thank you so much for watching. I will show you this video after the recipients have received these journals. Have a good night. Bye-bye.